ChatGPT is not the world's first LLM. It is not even the world's first GPT model. But it took the world by storm upon its release back in 2022. Today's ChatGPT is far more superior than what we had on the initial release. And this is the story of how it has evolved over time. This is the journey from GPT-1 to GPT-2. It's going to be a knowledge-packed video. So I'm going to take the teacher's rostrum once again. Let's go. The tale starts back in 2018, ChatGPT was just introduced by OpenAI, and it was nurturing in the womb of the best AI engineers in the world. The model used the transformer architecture and was pre-trained on a large amount of text data from the internet. Now, you may ask what a transformer architecture is. Basically, it is the assistant that aids natural language processing based on your inputs. It is an encoder-decoder system that helps machines understand what you are asking and what should be the appropriate response. During the early days, language tasks such as text completion and summarization constituted the primary applications of ChatGPT. But it was not perfect. It struggled with recognizing context and had a hard time with increasingly complicated linguistic tasks. It was like that the chatbot wants to say more, but it was short on words, so it would keep repeating the same context over and over again. The model also had trouble recognizing and responding to specific sorts of inputs because its training data was smaller than what we are used to today. In 2019, OpenAI pushed the first update. The goal of this update was to enhance the model's language comprehension skills. The extension of the training data utilized to train the model was a significant change. Since the dataset was bigger, the model was able to acquire more linguistic patterns and enhance its context awareness. The update also added fine-tuning tools so that the few users the company had at the time could adjust the model to work best with their own unique datasets and tasks. This expanded the scope of ChatGPT's usefulness and versatility. With this revision, a new model, GPT-2, was released that was both more robust and precise than the earlier ChatGPT. The capabilities and usability of ChatGPT were significantly boosted by this release. ChatGPT had now become a more useful tool for academics and developers in the field of natural language processing. And more importantly, this served as buildup for the glory that was about to unfold. But what exactly does fine-tuning exactly mean? Well, to fine-tune the model's parameters, developers use a smaller dataset that is more directly applicable to the task at hand. This enables the model to learn patterns that are unique to the application and help in enhancing its performance. This technique is both quick and easy to apply, and it doesn't need retraining the model from scratch. By now, GPT-2 had become smarter, but it was far away from the consumer-centric product the reason? Not enough data. The creation of any language model relies heavily on increasing the size of the training dataset, as this yields more accurate and flexible models. ChatGPT's language comprehension and the model's responsiveness to a wide variety of inputs were both amplified when its mains were connected to a bigger, beefier dataset. But we are still far away from the release. Now, it was time to improve the model's comprehension abilities to better grasp what is being said the ChatGPT model underwent language understanding improvements. More information about the input means a better response or text generation from the model. Remember the transformer architecture we just discussed? It was time for ChatGPT's transformer architecture to comprehend context, sentiment, entities, and almost all facets of language that fall under the broader umbrella of language understanding. This newer and better model, courtesy of a training over almost 10 times the data size used to train GPT-2, was given the name GPT-3. Some of GPT-1 and GPT-2's flaws were ironed out by the extensive and varied dataset. As a result, GPT-3 was able to carry out a variety of natural language processing tasks, such as program development and the generation of well-structured original prose. In short, GPT-3 was pioneering. It could read words, comprehend the situation, and respond rationally. It came the closest of any model to generating text that sounded human. The GPT-3 model was not flawless, but it was good enough for use in AI applications meant for writing, translating, and chatting. An artificial intelligence application built with GPT-3.5, a refinement of GPT-3, is ChatGPT. And this is the glory I was talking about. Despite these caveats, ChatGPT's 2022 launch marked a significant step forward in the field of natural language processing and laid the groundwork for future developments in the coming years. Other chatbots entered the market. And now, not only does 
OpenAI have to focus on the development, they also need to keep an eye on its competitors. OpenAI, in response, kept improving the LLM and released a new iteration of GPT called the GPT 3.5. Not only was it much faster than the last, but it was also more accurate. But it was on March 14th of this year when OpenAI released GPT-4. Following in the footsteps of its predecessor, GPT-4 took the renowned natural language response capabilities to a whole new level. OpenAI highlighted GPT-4's proficiency in comprehending and executing complex instructions, demonstrating accuracy in solving intricate problems. The range of tasks GPT-4 can perform is diverse, including math problem solving, question answering, making inferences, storytelling, and summarizing extensive content, showcasing its utility in both consumer and professional settings, such as in healthcare. OpenAI conducted evaluations to assess GPT-4's ability to articulate information coherently using various skill assessments like AP and Olympiad exams, as well as the Uniform Bar Examination. GPT-4 achieved high percentiles, indicating its capability to present coherent responses based on the extensive corpus of training data. As reported by The Information, OpenAI is set to surpass $1 billion in revenue within the next year through the sale of AI software and the computational capability that supports it. This projection represents a significant leap from their initial estimate of $200 million in revenue for the current year. With backing from Microsoft, OpenAI has substantially increased its revenue, now exceeding $80 million monthly, a notable escalation from the $28 million generated in the previous year. As of today, ChatGPT can understand 90 languages, which takes it far ahead of its competitors. But its effectiveness, however, differs significantly between languages. The AI chatbot has been tested, and it performs best in English. For example, the researchers observed that ChatGPT succeeds in translating other languages into English, but has problems with the converse. One more research project discovered that the chatbot was not very good at answering factual questions or summarizing complex text in non-English languages. This is unsurprising, considering a substantial part of the massive dataset it was trained on was in English. While this is true, OpenAI has made great strides with GPT-4 to improve ChatGPT's multilingual capabilities. GPT-4 is different from our earlier models, says OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Those models were good at English, but not so good at other languages. As of right now, GPT-4 performs admirably in a wide variety of languages. OpenAI's leadership is aware of the difficulty associated with language, and they are trying all their might to figure it out. But we cannot ignore GPT-4. It has opened up new avenues for the company. The latest news came from the corridors of OpenAI, where they launched a new suite called GPT Vision, which integrates GPT-4 with image processing technologies. It is surely set to be a game changer. It understands both context and images way better than what any expert initially expected. But what is next for the company, and more importantly, ChatGPT? I think the answer rests in their vision. Sam Altman predicted in an interview with the Times that in the near future, we will be able to have conversations with chatbots using our voices. In a way, it will be the same as talking to a close buddy on the phone. As time goes on, he continued, all it will take is a brief exchange of words with the chatbot before a huge amount of things get done on your behalf. This will be based on the template of getting to know you better. The company has long-term plans to expand ChatGPT's input capabilities. The end game is to develop an artificial general intelligence, an AI on par with or superior to human intelligence. The model's ability is currently not up to this level, but the jury is still out, and achieving AGI is not a far cry anymore. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the ever-growing world of tech and innovations. Speaking of AGIs, the first one is already out. Why am I saying this? Click on the video link popping up to find out. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and mention your favorite humanoid in the comment section below.